the National Security Advisor to the President, Major General Babagana Mongunu, and the Inspector General of Police, Usman Al-Kali Baba, have vowed to deal ruthlessly with individuals or political parties who intend to disrupt 2023 elections. General Mongunu advised those using some of the criminal elements in the society to cause violence to desist from it as President Mohamed Bari has given a directive to all the security agencies to deal with electoral violence offenders. I want to assure you that the security agencies have been given clear-cut instructions to preempt and deal with any situation in which any rogue organization or institution decides to embark on what we consider to be a fundamentally criminal enterprise or undertaking, whether these are isolated incidents, collective group activities, is not important. The important thing is that every Nigerian is allowed to cast his votes, and those votes must count. Now, for those people who hold the strings, who control these groups that have a proclivity for unleashing violence, those people who have gangsters working for them, I want to send a very, very clear warning, a categorical, unequivocal warning to each and every one, regardless of whichever party, including the party of the president, for as long as you decide to scuttle the electoral process, the law enforcement agencies will equally be uninhibited in reacting to whatever actions you have taken. Also speaking, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, says it is worried that if no urgent and decisive steps are taken, the attacks on its offices will intensify as the nation approaches election dates. Chairman of the Commission, Professor Mahmoud Yakub, who stated this, called for an emergency meeting with the Interagency Consultative Committee on Election Security in Abuja on Friday on the recent attack on its facilities in Ogo and Oshun states. The commission has also assured affected registered voters in Abiokuta South that no one will be disenfranchised as a result of the incident. It has therefore directed the Ogun State's resident electoral commissioner to compile the voter identification numbers of all 65,699 permanent voters' cards lost in the attack from its database and submit the records for immediate reprint. Turning to the spread of attacks during the ongoing political campaigns and rallies, the Commission has so far tracked 50 incidents across 21 states of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory. These unhappy occurrences are coming just a little over one month into the election campaign, which is scheduled to last for about five months from 28 September 2022 to 23rd February 2023 for national elections, that is presidential and national assembly, and from 12th October 2022 to 11th March 2023 for state elections, governorship and houses of assembly. The commission is worried that if no urgent and decisive steps are taken, the attacks will intensify as we approach the election date. As we all know, a peaceful campaign heralds a peaceful election. We need to take decisive steps to stem the ugly trend. Professor Yakubu said materials destroyed include 904 ballot boxes, 29 voting cubicles, 8 electric generators, 57 election bags, 30 megaphones, 65,699 uncollected parent voter cards, and a host of assorted items. From the events that are unfolding as enumerated by the first two speakers or the chair and the co-chair of the Interagency Consultative Forum. This determination is being threatened by events that is upholding itself from the day electoral or campaigns are unfolded. We have had incidences 
of intolerance by politicians within the various ranks of the politicians. We have incidents of thuggery. We have incidents of rallies, campaigns, and processions being disturbed violently, and so forth. We have witnessed sabotage to the general election by destroying and attacking INEC offices, personnel, and so forth. It is our determination to ensure that these things are put to rest very quickly to enable us to forge ahead and conduct these general elections. The meeting was moved to a closed door session and the security agencies that attended the emergency meeting were the police, army, air force, DSS, federal fire service, amongst others.